Yo, what's going on? Today is going to be different as we're going to be talking about Batman Cape Crusader. Okay, okay. I know I'm a little late to this, but I still wanted to talk about it. So last week, we've got some news about Batman Cape Crusader from Entertainment Weekly. And the details that we got was really interesting. So in Entertainment Weekly's interview with Bruce Timm, they gave us some new shots of how Batman is going to look, which I got to say, I really like. His design is definitely inspired by his first appearance, which I'm a fan of. And it reminds me of the short Batman video that was posted on DC's channel a long time ago called Strange Days. I've always been a fan of Bruce Timm's design, so I guess I got a heavy bias towards it but I like it a lot. we also got our first look at commissioner gordon and harley quinn and right off the bat i gotta say that i don't have a problem with any of the race swaps for commissioner gordon he's going to be african-american which is similar to matt reeves the batman movie and harley quinn is going to be played by asian american while some people may have a problem with both characters i'm in full support of it it'll add dimensions to both characters that could really make the audience gravitate towards them bruce tim also stated that this version of harley quinn will be more serious and scary which could be a really cool take if done correctly we also got our first look at Catwoman and Clayface and every character outside of Harley Quinn because she's fairly new is inspired by their first comic book appearances now I did post these photos in the community chat to see how people were feeling and it was it was a mixed bag some people liked it some people didn't which is fair because I know I usually have a mixed opinion until I see the shows in their full element but I do want to reiterate something that Bruce Tim said in this interview which was that they're not trying to repeat Batman the animated series I know Bruce Tim's design is pretty similar to the old show and it's very dcau ish i guess but we should really try to enjoy it as its own creation we all know that btas is the gold standard but that doesn't mean that we can't enjoy other iterations of the character Overall, I'm excited to see where this goes. They also announced that the show will be premiering on Amazon Prime on August 1st, which is actually a closer release date than I thought. Now, with that being said, let's go into characters that I want to see appear during the season. Now, let's take out the characters that we already know is going to be there. That includes Catwoman, Alfred, Harley Quinn, Commissioner Gordon, and Clayface. First, let's start off with who I don't want to see. Being that this is the first season, I don't want them to get too deep into the Batman mythos, so I won't be asking to see Robin, Batgirl, or most of the Bat family. I want this first season to strictly be only about Batman. I wouldn't mind a cameo or two, but I just don't want them to join the team yet. I also don't want to see the Joker. I feel like we see the Joker so much in every form of Batman media that I'm okay with him coming out in season two. Especially if this if they go this villain route with Harley Quinn. It could be interesting though. Like if they have him as a side character and she's being his psychiatrist and she's manipulating him into becoming the evil Joker that we all know, that'd be pretty fun to watch. Other than that, I don't think there's any other characters that I don't want to see appear in season season one so far. Now, let's get into the characters that I do want to see. Being that they said that this is going to be a darker show, I would love to see the Mad Hatter. Jervis Tetch is just a creepy villain. I remember playing Arkham City and doing the side mission against him, and I just remember being shocked when I finished it. If done right, he can be one of the creepiest Batman villains. The same could go for Scarecrow. I feel like he's another villain that's been really underused in media. I know he was in the Arkham series and the Dark Knight trilogy, but there's other avenues that they can explore with this character that can make for a very interesting villain. Speaking of underused characters, I definitely would like to see Professor Pig and Man Bat, even if it's just a cameo or a mention of their name. But to finish out the villains, I would like to see Two-Face or Harvey Dent. I would like to see Penguin, Bane, Killer Croc, Hugo Strange, The Riddler, and Scarface. Now I know that most of these characters probably won't appear during this first season, but I am hoping that most of these characters do appear in some shape or form. And I'm interested to see how many characters I got right. If you got any characters that you want to see or don't want to see, please let me know in the comment section down below. I'm curious to see if each episode is going to play into a larger story or if it's just going to be a villain of the week show. This show will be coming out in a couple months, so I probably will be giving my thoughts on episodes as they come out. But these are just my thoughts for this video. I'm Shana Dachi. And I'm out.